Scientists have always used fossils to try to understand how the Earth's surface has changed over time. And fossils were key to understanding that, say, South America and Africa were once right next to each other. My name is Jeff Wilson and I'm a paleontologist at the University of Michigan. And paleontologists study the history of life, both past and present. One of the reasons that I'm interested in the Mesozoic era and in animals like dinosaurs is because the Mesozoic era, or the dinosaur era, was a time when the plates were moving and a lot was changing, the environment was changing, and the organisms, the dinosaurs especially, were having to adapt to these changing geographical circumstances. India was a project that really inspired me because India started out in the southern hemisphere and migrated, had this great northward migration across the equator, eventually to ram into Asia. So one of the questions is, what happened to the animals or the fauna or the plants or the flora of India as it migrated northwards? If it was truly isolated for tens of millions of years, cut off from the rest of the world, it should have developed its own animals that look different from everything else. So the fossil that I'm holding here is a fossil crocodile called Pabveshi. This is a special kind of crocodile that lived in the uh, dinosaur times. This is the front end of the animal's snout. We're missing most of the animal's head. So if we look at a crocodile today, they have kind of a flat, wide snout. The crocodiles of the Mesozoic era, so the terrestrial ones, the land-based ones, had these deep, more dog-like profiles. And so they're easy to recognize for that reason. We have a very close connection between this fossil and a fossil from Brazil. And this, along with other evidence, tells us, I think for certain, that India was not yet connected to Asia during the dinosaur era. India was still migrating northwards and was still, we think, connected to other southern land masses during that time. And so the question arises, well, how could that be? What was the connection, the land connection between them? And there are a couple of options. One option is that as India migrated northwards, it might have, there might have been an arm of Africa that extended out a little bit farther than we think it did, and that was provided a bridge for animals to move onto the southern land masses via Africa. Another idea is that as India moved northwards, there was a series of island arcs up just uh, north of Africa that helped connect it to Africa and to other land masses during that time. The more that you think you learn about something, the more questions pop up. And there are lots of questions like what happened to India during the dinosaur era that are still out there. And there's so much to learn and so many things to do. And so I'm often asked like, have we found all the dinosaurs? Or uh, is there still a role for paleontology? Yes, definitely there's still a role for paleontology and no, we have not found all the dinosaurs. There's so much more to be found.